ladies and gentlemen welcome to another mjengo her video and today we are checking out the upgrade or dueling of the mombasa kwa jomvu to mariakani section of mombasa road right now we are at about the 30 kilometer mark which is about six kilometers after mariakani and this is where lot two of the project was launched where works are actively ongoing and we are going to check out whatever they are doing right now to make sure that the project ends in time because this project is going to have massive impact on the traffic on Mombasa Road. We'll also be looking at what is coming next as this section nears completion because the government has announced plans to do all the Machakos Junction to Emali section starting February next year. Welcome if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and let's go! The Northern Corridor A8 is the economic engine of East and Central Africa, connecting the port of Mombasa to the markets of Uganda, Rwanda, and the DRC. For years, it has had a series of deadly and crippling choke points, making Mombasa Road one of Kenya's most dangerous highways. Reckless overtaking is the leading cause of head-on crashes, as impatient drivers cut into oncoming lanes to pass slower vehicles. This pressure encourages overspeeding, while weak and inconsistent enforcement has allowed dangerous behavior to persist. The risk is worsened by poor road conditions. Between Mtito Andei and Voi, the maintenance works are always substandard with road surfaces deteriorating to near maram conditions, despite being a key national highway. Two weeks ago, seven people were killed when a matatu collided head-on with a truck at Miesenyi in Taitataveta County. The tragedy triggered public outrage, with the Motorists Association of Kenya blaming Kenha, setting the two-decade delay in dueling the road. Improving this highway is a matter of life, death, and economic survival. The initial grand answer was the 468 billion Kenya shillings Usahihi Expressway PPP proposal by Everstrong Capital from the United States. This toll-based plan was eventually abandoned in August this year due to complexity and financing concerns. All the current hope for Mombasa Road remains in a combination of public and donor financing. The government launched the Mombasa Kwajomvu Mariakani Dueling Project and the goal of Lot 1 was immediate congestion relief. The 11.4 kilometers from Mombasa Island to Kwajomvu commenced civil works in February 2017 and suffered an eight-year delay primarily due to land compensation disputes. Despite this long stall, this section is now basically done featuring a 4-6 to six lane upgrade right out of the port. The real game changer here is the integration with the Dongokundu Southern Bypass, which is a 39 billion three-phase project done under the Uhuru regime that connects the northern corridor directly to the south coast, that is Likoni and Ukunda. Together, these infrastructure marvels provide a seamless, high-capacity alternative route to the Likoni ferry directly addressing Mombasa's most critical internal traffic bottleneck and linking the entire logistics chain to the Dongokundu Special Economic Zone. The core of the Northern Corridor Master Plan is Lot 2 from Kwajomvu to Mariakani. This 30.4 km stretch is a 10.4 billion Kenya shillings investment overseen by Kenha and financed by Team Europe, that's European Investment Bank, Germany's Development Bank, and the European Union. The construction is being executed by the Third Engineering Bureau of China's City Construction Group, with supervision handled by SAI Consulting Engineers. Works on this section officially commenced in July 2023, and this lot also stalled for several months due to inadequate capital to pay contractors and clear compensation arrears, requiring the government to release critical cash in April this year to get works moving again. On site right now, the contractor is implementing a highly durable flexible payment structure designed to withstand the corridor's heavy axle loads. This design specifically utilizes a layered approach for longevity, 
with the final driving surface featuring three distinct layers of asphalt, concrete or tarmac to resist deformation and rutting from heavy trucks. The entire stretch also incorporates essential safety amenities with several pedestrian overpasses being strategically placed including at least four foot bridges between Mazeras and Mariakani. Construction is also underway for dedicated capro paved pedestrian walkways to separate foot traffic. Finally, the project includes the improvement of grade intersections, provision for safe U-turns, and construction of permanent axle load control way bridges. The good news is that the section from Mombasa all the way to Mazeras is largely dualed and open. The major remaining work is concentrated in and around the two town centers that were skipped, that is Mazeras and Mariakani. As is typical, contractors tend to skip the complex town segments and deal with them last. This means that very soon, when major artworks begin in Mazeras and Mariakani, residents and motorists should brace for massive traffic snarl-ups and delays. The momentum continues, specifically with the announcement that the dueling of the critical Machakos Junction to Emali stretch is scheduled to commence in February 2026. The fact that the government has chosen to fund both the Mombasa Marikani and the upcoming Nairobi Emali sections through a combination of public funds and donor financing, it means the government might be planning to fund the entire Mombasa road and has just decided to do it in sections. If this is to be the case, then making sense of the Rironi Mau Summit PPP may become trickier. The government could eventually decide to toll anyway as there were reports of tolling feasibility studies launched for the Dongokundu bypass. Whichever financing model is adopted, Kenyans will definitely appreciate a fully expanded Mombasa road. If you are traveling this festive season, please slow down, avoid reckless overtaking, and prioritize safety above all else. What are your thoughts on the Mombasa Kwajomvu Mariakani Dueling Project? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like the video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more infrastructure updates. Until next time, Adiós.